Hey, I've gone a little bit further now with my um, label from Valenta Models. Um, fuselage is, is complete now. Um, you may just be able to see in there the uh, tow release right at the front, which is in being embedded in epoxy just to give the front some strength and chop carbon. So this is the servo that operates uh, the tow release. Simple loop with um, like a hook in an aluminium p in an aluminium tube. So nice and simple. Never let me down. It's going to be powered. The model by the um, servos and radio gears power, powered by two two cell lipos which you can see here at the front 2400 milliamps that's coming through a battery backer then um, this is one battery this is a second battery and a power sensor switch from power box quite uh, like that system now I've got converting all my models to have this uh, just from a safety point of view I know I've always got the battery back up and 5000 milliamps in theory of uh, battery power should give us a full day's flying I'm a few tarby user so you can see in there there's the uh, few tarby R7014S buzz receiver I've used all but one channel so you've got the two power leads going in from your switch so that's taking two channels up then I've got uh, rudder elevator tow release uh, in the fuselage and then in the wings I'm gonna have flap aerolon and air brake for each wing so that's giving me uh, six seven eight nine and 11 in total so you can see here I've got some uh, ballast tubes they are either side so it's going to be equal weight that's just to ballast it up for the windier days and there are the slugs the big brass slugs that I'll put in I can get two of those in on each tube or I could put one uh, in a central position and wooden dowel either side just to keep it central on the CAG position the palace tubes go away back in there so and the uh, permanent marker you see here down there the permanent marker line that's where the center of gravity is plus minus so it's a D-box wing spar and I've got the uh, power box multi plugs in. And you can see the leads coming in at the back through here. And all the wiring here is connecting, so now I don't have to connect anything in the fuselage. Everything's put in together. So once I push the wing on, everything just works automatically. I've got some uh, six kilogram servos on each one. So that's the uh, elevator, that's the rudder. So they should be sufficient. Four kilogram for the tower release, but don't need it strong on that because uh, just the way the mechanism is. Put some decals on on the front half now on the nose area. And the uh, rudder is complete there with just the trailing edge of the rudder having uh, decals on came with the number registration on so I've left that try not tried to take it off but quite happy with the uh, progress so far I've only got the wings to do now I've uh, actually put the decals on the wings so it's just a matter of wiring and servos may not be able to see it very good because of the uh, lighting in my uh, workshop but anyway that's the canopy for the label um, I've had to cut 
a little bit of the base of the canopy away so that the uh, servos, uh, the rudder and elevator servos were catching and the ballast tubes but also what that will give me is when you put the canopy in place and if I am using the ballast I will have a visual confirmation from the red slug at the front there that uh, everything's good with the uh, ballast and nothing's moved and I can also see through the canopy the uh, connections for the batteries the two lipos so I will leave it like that I'm not going to do anything different to it quite happy that I can visually see um, also the rudder and elevator horns you can see so it's just a bit of reassurance and, uh, the pilot I'm not right sure if you put a pilot in you wouldn't expect his head to be back here really the seating position seems a little bit wrong so um, and if you did put a pilot into this model you'd actually uh, have to leave him in there so and I have got a pilot that I moved from one model to another so this is going to be pilotless but, uh, I hope you agree with me it's coming on well so far